I think I support a lot of well-known brands and drugstores um, and not so many that brands that are undiscovered that lie within Amazon. So what I've done is picked out two products from a range of makeup and I'm going to try and review them. I think my mother-in-law's coughing. I've got my mother-in-law with me now for the foreseeable future and I'm, I can't just get her to stay quiet so if you hear any noises that's what that's all about. It's a crazy crazy house. So I've picked two mascaras from Amazon, these are both within the same price range, uh, one is $2.99, one is $3.99 and I'm going to show you and demonstrate you them. They both do dramatic eyelashes which separate the eyes and give a wide like um, look. To me that spells quite natural so we'll see how they go on. So I've got quite simple makeup on today, I think that's close enough. I'm going to take the hypoallergenic ophthalmic just approved. This is by Belle. I'm going to have a link to all of the products I use in the description bar but this is the mascara wand and this is the mascara going on. So... It's nice that I can feel that there's a lot of product on the brush. It's not a dry brush. In fact, it feels a little wet, closer to my um, lash line. And that is a nice mascara, I really like it. It does lengthen, like, <laughs> it does lengthen. And it does separate, it does everything on the tin and I think this is really, really great value for money, what do you think? If I like side, if I twist slightly, I don't know if you can see the side there. So at $3.99, this has given me a really, really great product and I wouldn't mind paying that for a mascara like this. I think it's better than the one that I wear every day for, that is not really for every day, if that makes sense. So I could replace that one for this one quite easily and I think I will. Okay, so I'm just building up the layers and I can see it's starting to get a little bit spidery. I don't really like spidery lashes too much. At this stage where it is, it's fine, but if I continue, it would go quite spidery. It promises to curl the lashes, and it has curled my lashes, actually. Um, my lashes don't stand to tension like this, so this is brilliant. It says it doesn't smudge, so it's waterproof. So the next one is in a very familiar-looking container. We've seen this container before, but this is by W7. Maya seems to think that you can get this in a drugstore. I've never seen W7 before, never heard of them before and it's a traditional mascara wand. I like the other one that it was thin. When they're a bit thicker, I tend to make a mess all over my lid. I'm gonna bring you closer. I don't know why, I always start this lash with the inner corner, but this one, I start on the outside. I guess it's something to do with using my right hand as opposed to my dominant left hand. This has really, really separated the lashes. It's made good of my non-existent looking lashes that were there before. It's elongating and lifting them. And at 2 99 this is a good mascara. I'm having to go back in again, as I did with the other one, just to pick up a bit more. This one feels a little bit drier than the other one but I'm getting more of that lift and more of that separation here. See? So this is a really, really great mascara. Color-wise, I think this has got a bit more pigment to it. I could be imagining it. Tell me what you think. But considering this side here is my shadow side, I would have expected this one to be more darker. I'm definitely getting more volume and mass at the at the root of the lashes with this mascara. And now it's starting to get spidery. Do you guys put mascara on your bottom lashes? I don't tend to. I think I like the shape of this one more than this one, but that could be my dodgy eye, as you guys know. 
said it a million times this eye is my weird eye Just so you can see what it's like on the bottom lashes. And you don't need it on your nose, Nisha. I love these brushes for the bottom lashes. I really need to try some bottom eye mascara. This is really nice all the way around, actually. So I do recommend both of those mascaras depending on the look you want. If you want a natural for work then the this mascara is brilliant. Hello and focus. And if you want a slightly dramatic but not too out there mascara then this one is really nice too. Um, again the links are down below please do check them out and see what you think of them there's more product information in the details in the things and the the, the the bit that it links to with an Amazon <laughs> please do um, give me a thumbs up let me know what you think of the mascaras what's your favorite mascara put it down in the comments box below let me know if there's something you'd like to review and I'll see you in the next video real soon take care bye I didn't say subscribe, you need to subscribe. <laughs>